Bids were opened at 3 o'clock this afternoon for construction of the foundations for three of the five terminals of the Dallas-Fort Worth Regional Airport. Bids range from $970,074.18 to $745,439. The apparent low bid was submitted by Aurora Construction Company of Dallas. Ernest Dean, the Deputy Executive Director of the Dallas-Fort Worth Regional Airport, read the staff engineer's estimate of cost for the project. $931,820. Congressman Don Edwards from California has initiated a letter and circulated it to the, through the Congress of the United States and he has approximately 49 or 50 signatures which will be sent to President Nixon today asking for general amnesty for the controllers. And he draws a parallel in the handling of the postal employees and the air traffic controllers. There have been no sanctions or actions taken against postal employees, and a quarter of a million of them struck earlier this year. Now, these dismissals, are these alleged to be the result of the sick out? In other words, men who laid off work? Yes, and in most cases, they happen to be singled out because they were closely associated in leadership roles with PATCO. And to date, there are 47 who have been terminated throughout the United States. Dallas is on the verge of getting the most elaborate air controller system, radar system, uh, known uh, thus far. Do you know when that will be installed? Uh, I understand that it will be installed very shortly, and the funding for that will uh, come from the recently passed airway user tax bill in Washington, and I think that's a direct result of highlighting the deficiencies in the system uh, this past spring. I think the legislation that was enacted came as a result of that. Now, there are many airports having a lot of problems around the country. Why was Dallas selected? I believe because of the explosive growth of aviation in this particular area in the southwest. And uh, I think that uh, they project a great increase in this area. McCaleb, do you feel that maybe this opinion is uh, fouling up 29,000 students for the benefit of one school? Well, it certainly is going to cause some problems, but I don't know if you know what it's just as important <clears throat> fouling it up for one school as it is the entire school system. And what the important consideration is the education of all the children. And Mr. Bacon, in the five points issued by the three judge panel, they say, we deem it less disruptive to postpone the opening of the school for a very brief interval than to affect total segregation after the schools are in operation. That sounds like three judgments. I think judgments. that should be desegregation. Total desegregation after the schools are in operation, I'm sorry. Does that sound like maybe they're prejudging this case? Uh, Jim, since this matter is in federal court, uh, I hesitate making any comment on the legal aspects of the case. I, I feel that as an attorney that I should uh, direct any remarks in that regard to the court. We'll be developing programs immediately to start meet these needs. Uh, I was the president of the New York Senate chapter at that particular time, and subsequent to that I was elected to the presidency at our convention in Vegas. Have any of those problems been ironed out as of today? I think that there has been strides to uh, bring the different factions together, and I think there's been overtures on the agency and a change in their posture, but uh, the dismissal route that they have taken to date uh, has demoralized the workforce that's still in the centers and terminals in the country. Bids were opened here at the offices of the regional airport for construction of the foundations for three of the five terminals of the Dallas-Fort Worth Regional Airport. Bids range from $970,074.18 to $745,439. The apparent low bid was submitted by Aurora Construction Company of Dallas. Mr. Thomas Sullivan, the executive director of the regional airport, had these comments. We feel uh, quite pleased about the, uh, the number of bidders and the competition that existed between uh, uh, the various bidders. Uh, it does reflect, uh, I believe, uh, 
a good set of plans and specifications is prepared by the architects and engineers on the job. We hope that uh, this kind of bidding will continue on future jobs. Art Sinclair reporting for Channel 8 News on the move and the offices of the regional airport. Not yet fully underway, uh, the prices will rise again. Do you predict any ceiling on that? No, I, I don't know what the ceiling will be. I think some of your strategically located sites uh, with regard to access points to the airport and so on uh, will continue to, to rise at a rapid rate. Uh, and uh, your large acreage tracks uh, will continue to rise with, as to where it'll level off. I don't think anybody can say right now. It's never, it's never comfortable, really. Uh, when you come to a moment of truth like this, and you have some friends who feel very strongly in one way, and other friends feel very strongly in another way. If the council approves this project, I would expect and insist that the churches and trust carry their obligations as stated. I would expect and insist that the citizens living in these units protect and maintain them as if they were their very own home, which in reality they are. I would expect and insist that the council, this council and our staff, recently enforce every artist available to us, not only to maintain the new areas, but to improve the old. I would expect and insist that we proceed with all speed possible to implement our code enforcement program for the entire area. And the, area, the entire area is much larger than just this immediate track. issue in particular how is it going to turn out is it, is it going to get a get to a head knocking session Freddie well I think uh, since I've been on the council for a year I don't really believe we've had many issues that we've been 100% uh, behind so I think this will probably be normal but this isn't this one of the worst ones yeah this is uh, one of the worst ones here I think yeah All right, buddy, out of the car, come on. Let me see that license. Did you know you were going 96 miles an hour in a school zone? It's 3 a.m. and you don't even have your lights on? You turn the wrong way on a one-way street? What's the trouble here? Come on, tell me. I know why you stopped me. You stopped me because I'm black. <laughs> 
Next next movie is when we're going to go into uh, people want to be free sequence and Randolph, you're up here. This is where you do the symmetric speech to the These people are participating in the fourth annual Caparama, which is being directed by Dr. Ralph Stone of Texas Christian University. About a hundred youngsters from the War on Poverty target areas in Fort Worth are participating in this production. Most of them are black, but there are some Mexican Americans and some whites taking part. The show itself will be presented Friday night at 8 o'clock in the Tarrant County Convention Center. This is sponsored by the Fort Worth and Tarrant County Community Action Agency. Continuing drama groups from the neighborhood centers developed script segments. Then Dr. Stone helped mold it into an actual show. You can obtain complimentary tickets for this show courtesy of the Community Action Agency. Not only does it provide a lot of entertainment for the, those who watch, but a lot of activity for those who take part. Many people feel that uh, that fees like this that they uh, that they're already entitled to that fee when they uh, when they pay their taxes, and uh, of course it'd be particularly hard on the lower income people I think uh, to have to pay a special garbage fee. Are you opposed to a fee like that? No, not necessarily, Phil. I'd like to see uh, a lot more uh, done on it. I'd like to see. Uh, uh, you know, who it would affect, and I think in all honesty we ought to hear from people, uh, the citizens, whether they're for it or against it, because it's, uh, it's a real rough, uh, a rough thing, I think. Well, the effect has been very significant. Uh, we first uh, noticed the change in land value soon after the airport was announced in September 1965. Uh, the increase from that period on it was gradual up to about 1968 and then all of a sudden it uh, just began to take off so to speak and I'd say land values around the airport have, have as much as quadrupled in many instances. We've been preparing since January to start school on, on the 25th of uh, August the teachers, all the teachers reported today for a week's in service, and the, and the students will report Tuesday. The buildings are ready, the parents are ready, and any delay would upset them emotionally. We feel it'd be much better to start as is planned and make whatever changes are necessary later on. Well, it simply means if all the aspects of the law are, are completed, 
and it is approved all along the line, as you just told me, I, that's the first news I'd had of it, then it simply means that Fort Worth will get all the funds that were originally approved plus another 30 percent because we have over, the way we read the law, there is a, we have another 30 percent of those funds coming, which simply means we can move down and reach more youngsters at a preschool age to give more help in the disadvantaged areas. We've been planning this should these funds become available, and we think that the way to attack the problem is through the preschool child and those who are uh, at age four and age five. I have heard that uh, from various controllers in this area that there are blind spots in the primary radar. Yes, sir, we've all heard it, but is it a fact? It is a fact, and I understand that the new equipment that will be coming, the new ASR-7 radar, will eliminate a great percentage of the blind spots that they have today. 